Hi, this is Jason, and I'm going to show you a new feature in Hungry Feed plugin for WordPress, which allows you to dig into the description field of an RSS feed. Uh, if you don't know already, Hungry Feed is a plugin for WordPress that allows you to embed RSS feeds onto your page. And that's exactly what I've done here. I've used YouTube as an example. Uh, and the reason I've chosen YouTube is because YouTube is a feed that puts a lot of HTML code into their RSS feed. Uh, the RSS feed, um, in this case what we have displaying is the title of the feed itself provided by YouTube. We have the title of a post. The description is all of this stuff, the image and everything. This is all just in one field in the RSS which is the description. And then um, Hungry Feed is showing the uh, post date at the bottom. Uh, this is the default Hungry Feed display of a YouTube feed. And I'll show you the post itself. In fact, it just says Hungry Feed URL equals YouTube. And this is uh, Curious3 slash videos at RSS. This is my video channel. Shameless plug. Check it out. Um, anyway, and this is what it shows like by default. So let's just say, for example, you're dealing with a feed and uh, they are sending a bunch of HTML and you don't want all of this HTML in your page, you just want to grab uh, one piece of it and you want to format it in your own way, not their way, with tables or whatever it may be. Uh, the problem is because there's no specification and this is all just one field, it's just HTML, so you need some sort of mechanism for screen scraping in order to grab this stuff. And what I've used in Hungry Feed, uh, with 1.4.0, I've added in uh, support for PHP Query, which is an open source project that is based off of jQuery, but it's in PHP and it's like it's a DOM selector. That means that you can take some HTML or XML and go in and use formulas to grab specific parts uh, of that. And um, it can be complicated, but there's also um, simple examples as well too. And uh, Hungry Feed just simply uses this class, so all of the documentation for PHP query uh, should work uh, with Hungry Feed, I believe. Um, so anyway, let's get to um, using a selector to show how that works. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is change the Hungry Feed URL, and I need to specify a template. Um, the selectors are specified in the template. So the template equals one. Now when I change this, inside Hungry Feed settings, it's now going to be using this custom template. And this is the default. Let's just leave the default as it is. Um, and you can see the default is just going to show the permalink, and then the description, and then the author, and then the post date. So it should look, uh, now that we've changed this, yes, uh, it should look just about the same when I refresh it, except we'll also see the author. And it does. It looks almost exactly the same because we're using this um, template, which is almost the same as just the default Hungry Feed output. Uh, let's just take away this and just get only the description inside a div tag. So we're only going to just show the description. I'm going to update this. This is a little mini tutorial on using the templates as well, I suppose. Uh, okay, so now um, everything is gone except um, we still just have the description. We have this big field full of HTML. Um, just as an example, I'm just going to pull out this image only. And I've already looked at this code, so I know um, the easiest way to grab that. But in normal situations, what you're going to have to do is view the page source, and you're going to have to find the HTML that's generated um, by the RSS provider, in this case YouTube, and you're going to have to do some analysis on it to figure out the best way to get whatever it is that you're looking for. So I need to find the end of this. Okay, so here's the end. Uh, and you can see what we have is the div that we put in in our template. You know, because we put a div right there, beginning and end. And then um, YouTube puts a div as well. And then YouTube puts a table and all this junk inside the table. And uh, then it ends with their div and it ends with our div again. Uh, and I only want the image. so. How could I select this? Well, YouTube has a div followed by a table. Um, there are tables inside a div, and then inside that table we have a table row and a table cell, and then a div. So, uh, and then we have a link with the image. So we've got a bunch of ways we could get this, but since the only thing I want is the image, um, 
the first, as it turns out, the first link inside this uh, contains the image. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to go the easiest way, which is I'm going to grab whatever the HTML is that's inside the first link in the feed. Okay, here's where we get into the programming part of it. So instead of description, I'm going to say select, and that tells Hungry Feed we're going to use a selector. And then I can say either HTML or text. And HTML will return the HTML inside whatever I select. And the text will return the text. Um, like if I wanted a text inside a link, uh, for example. Uh, and then I put a dot. Now what we're going to select, we're going to select an A tag. And it's going to be the first one inside the data. Uh, and that should be all we need. That should give us the image. So if I save the changes and refresh, we should just see a list of, um, yeah, we just have the images only, so uh, we essentially stripped it out using the query, um, and we just grabbed only the image. And uh, so I can't give you an answer on your particular feed on exactly what your query is going to be. It's, it's um, uh, you know, it really just depends on the structure of the HTML and uh, on what the easiest way to select stuff is, but, uh, you know, it's a skill that is not uh, specific to Hungry Feed using these selectors. It's um, jQuery and now PHP query. So um, you don't really have to. Um, it's not specific to Hungry Feed, is what I'm saying. Uh, uh, now, I, I designed a, a sort of a template which I'm going to go ahead and save and show you uh, where I added in some more stuff to show a more practical example. Um, if I refresh this. Okay, so uh, we have my. Um, YouTube feed, but I've actually just stripped out all of the table and I've just formatted it in a more simple way that's maybe more compatible with my blog. And I just have the title, which has a link, and the image is linked as well, and then the description, and I don't have any of that other table stuff uh, or whatever that YouTube had in it. So I essentially took all the data from the feed and I rearranged it the way I wanted to see it, and this is it. And I just chose a really simple layout because I didn't want to add in a bunch of complicated stuff to explain. Um, but let's go into that so you can see what it is. I'm going to add some line breaks in here so this is easier to read. Um, there we go. And okay, so what did we do? First, I'm just uh, essentially I'm just floating these elements, um, just using CSS. So I just floated this to the right, and then this isn't very great design. So uh, this is not a design really to copy but it's intended to be very simple to explain. So I created an href tag and I used the permalink, which we already have. We don't need to screen scrape to get that. We know what the permalink is. Uh, and then I did use the selector and I just used that same one that we just did in a minute ago. I grabbed the first the HTML that's inside the first A tag. So that gives us this. Uh, then the next line, which will float to the left. Uh, I just get a little styling. I did a text transform, CSS turned it to uppercase. And again, I just made a link using the permalink, which we already had, and the title, which we already had, so there was no selecting going on there. And that gives us this in all capital letters. And then the last thing we're going to look at here is this text. Where did I get that? Um, it's just a paragraph, and I used another selector, but this time I selected text, and I selected the text that was in the first span inside the, inside the uh, code. So if we go back to the source code, um, I chose really easy examples for these selectors. Um, it just so happened that the uh, the description text is the first span inside there, so it made it really easy. So I just selected whatever the text was inside the first span, and that gave us this. And that was all that I wanted, so I just wanted the simple title, description, and the preview image. And so uh, I think you could use this for a lot of things, a lot of purposes. And it's, um, there's a lot of documentation. If you don't find the documentation on the PHP query site for your, um, uh, how to select this, you know, this gets into how to select divs with certain IDs and stuff. If the feed happens to be really well styled, uh, you might be able to grab stuff or you can, um, you know, just use all kinds of formulas to grab things. Uh, if this doesn't really have a great description, then these things actually link over to the jQuery site, which is essentially PHP query is just a, a copy of jQuery. And for example, when I click here, it'll take me to the jQuery site, show me how um, the selector works. So you're just looking for selectors. And um, 
I didn't implement anything uh, fancy like iterators, meaning you can't, you know, loop through a list of things. Um, so you're going to have to just, uh, for now, be content with um, using, uh, you know, just pulling out individual items and then either showing the HTML or the text of them. But I think for the purposes of these feeds, that's probably pretty good. Um, but anyway, post a comment if you uh, have any suggestions or if you've tried this out. And uh, send a link to um, something where you've used Hungry Feed. Uh, and uh, feel free to share it with other people, your uh, formulas for uh, grabbing data out of interesting feeds. Okay? Thanks a bunch for watching, and I'll see you next time.